Hello Virgo, welcome to your fall review. If you missed your September overview, that is actually listed under the Sunday Shuffle playlist, which I believe for you was out a week, maybe two weeks ago. But yeah, if you want to catch up on September or if you missed it, it's under the Sunday Shuffle. Today we're going to do an in-depth look at the fall, specifically October, November, December. Yeah, so let me explain the board very quickly. This is the board I'm using for all 12 signs as it concerns the fall review. The world, new beginnings. New beginnings for the fall. Looking at the year in retrospect, what have we learned? That way we know what to carry, not carry over into the new year. But the idea is new beginnings. What are we ushering in under this new season? The energy that influences us over the next several months, the sun and the moon. Do we understand the sun? What is making us happy? Are we achieving it? Are we on point with it? Do we need to make adjustments? Okay. Is our idea of the sun our ultimate form of happiness? Is it correct? Are we in alignment with it? And then there's the stuff we may not know so much. The moon. What's going on in there? What might be influencing us over the fall as well? But perhaps we just don't know it. We're as in tune with it as our sun. Okay? And then the actual months themselves. So, number 10 in tarot is the Wheel of Fortune, October. Number 11 is Justice in tarot, but November here. Okay? Number 12, the Hanged Man, December. All right. Very good. Let's get cracking. Oh, I forgot to address this with Capricorns. Yes, you'll notice the blank space. I have some new pieces coming in. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of a change up. Okay, let's start with some oracles for you. Show me Virgo over the fall, please. Show me Virgo over the fall. Virgo over the fall, please. Show me Virgo over the fall. Look, the 19th for some of you, by the way, might be important, or 19 might be some sort of a reference to a power number, okay? But luck. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities that lie ahead. Some of you are seeking new opportunities. Some of you are just hoping to increase your luck in other areas of your life. That could be a little bit of anything, honey. You could never do without a little bit of luck. Some luck that you do not expect might be headed for you. Let's see. Let's do this is the Spellcaster's Oracle. Let's do a couple more. Luck for you. Blessings. Yes, indeed. Encourage. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you have some blessings and or luck coming your way. Courage. Influence of Leo. Some of you might have some very strong Leo in your chart. The idea is courage. Do we have the strength to take that luck? Do we have the strength to take that opportunity? Do you have the strength to see a blessing as a blessing? Not many people do. The idea of opportune moments opportune times, advancements, and here's something. It just came up spontaneously. Sometimes those things that are so unexpected can be confrontational. In that respect, I wasn't expecting it, therefore I don't know that I can receive it. And that's where we want to go with the flow. That's what luck is. That's what opportunity is. Sometimes we plan things to come towards us because we set it up that way. We put ourselves into it, we get something back. But sometimes things just arrive an opportune moment, a blessing, a moment. Some of you are trying to generate an opportunity or a luck and you're like, I don't know if I can do it. Yes, you can. In that case, you need the courage. You need the courage to either accept that which is coming towards you and perhaps it is simply unknown or you are trying to generate some sort of lucky or opportune moment and you need courage to do it. Oh, what could that be? How very interesting. Either way, the idea is blessing. It's a blessing. Could be abundance. It's something for which you are grateful. It has arrived. I'd like to accept it. We'd like to embrace it or make that particular opportunity happen for us. Oh, goodness, what is going on? Show me new beginnings for Virgo in the fall. Show me new beginnings for Virgo in the fall. Show me new beginnings for Virgo in the fall, please. Show me new beginnings for Virgo in the fall. Three pentacles, cooperation, six of wands, confidence, four pentacles you've been holding back. So, is that where I'm saying luck, honey? Is that where I'm saying the luck? There's something here in your kind of, uh, well, like I said, bridging energy into the fall, new beginnings. We're showing a little bit of reluctance. 
The idea of cooperating, building something with somebody could be cooperative effort in work, constructive friendship type thing. The idea of putting ourselves into it feels good. Six of Wands, but we're hanging back. Four of Pentacles are showing me hesitation, reluctance. I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can do that. Yes, you can. It's the Three of Pentacles. It's cooperation. You have a lot of little things in common with somebody, and you're like, I would like their cooperation. I would like their friendship. I would like their constructive effort. The idea of it feels good to me. Six of Wands. Oh, but Four of Pentacles. I don't know about that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And uh, for some of you, it is simply starting a unique project. Okay? That is important to you. You would like someone else's effort, cooperation, or blessing. You don't know if you'll get it. But the idea of it makes you feel good. I don't know. Our signs are tricky. When you show me pentacles, it's not necessarily pentacle. And you showed me just a little bit of a personal element there with the Six of Wands. It would feel good. It would feel good to cooperate. But we're hanging back. We haven't let it go. So this is rolling over into fall for you. I want to know what this is. But first, let's take a look at your sun. Show me that sun, please. Show me that sun. Show me that sun, please. For Virgo, what makes Virgo happy? What do you understand makes you happy? Show me that sun, please. Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> oh my, yes. We'd like to generate some activity. Some of it does have to do with your monetary world. Um, seizing the opportunity of work, coin, been a solid truth for the Ace of Swords, opening your heart towards it. Huh. There's a couple different things here that you would like to achieve. What's that truth, though? What is that truth? What is that Ace of Swords that you would make so happy? New opportunity in work and in coin. Sure. You'd like to open your heart towards this, but there's a discernible truth here I'm trying to pick up on. What is this Ace of Swords, please, as we understand it, for Virgo Sun? Show me this Ace of Swords. Show me this Ace of Swords. What do you understand the truth other than work opportunities? Cooperation, building, put of our genuine effort into something. We would like to do this. It's a sharp idea. It's a gift. Is it a gift? Is it a gift? There's a, like I said, I keep seeing a little pieces of personal attachment to this. Is it a gift? Is that an idea? Is that an idea of a gift? Page of Cups. Is it coming towards you or you think you're putting it out there? Ah, wow, that's a lot of energy on that sword, honey. Three swords, the Empress, and death. Oh my. Interesting. I've got some pain here with somebody who's relatively important. Some frustration, sadness. We want to put something into this. It's almost like saying it's not too late. They either feel that way about you or you feel that way about them. Perhaps it's not too late. It's a sharp idea. Possibly involves a gift and or peace offering. Is this the cooperation element I'm seeing over here? I don't know if I can do that. Or you don't know if you can receive it? Which way is it going, honey? You don't know if you can receive that from somebody? You'd like to. It's under the sun. Or you don't know if you can give that to someone, a peace offering. Which way is it going? Do you wish to be the giver or the receiver? Either way, opportunity and luck is involved. Interesting. Let's jump over here to your moon real quick. What is unknown to you? Or you can't quite feel your way around. Things that you might be keeping hidden from yourself. Queen of Cups, the Three of Swords, person reflecting pain, water orientation, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, specifically Scorpio does not have to be. We don't like thinking about this. We don't like thinking about it at all. Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, we don't like thinking about the pain that was caused in someone's heart. Yours or theirs. 
We don't like thinking about it. We do not like thinking about it at all. It goes into the moon. The idea of the responsibility of that pain is such as that we don't like to we don't like to think about it. It hurts. It hurts. It goes into a very deep place. The pain is such as that we don't want to go anywhere near it. The idea that somebody caused someone else that level of pain at the emotional level. It makes them extremely uncomfortable and they take it to the moon place. We don't like to think on it at all. The Three of Swords is reflected in this person. And by all rights with death being here, I have a reason to believe that whatever this is is over. But I'm seeing it as the lack of the generosity, the warmth, emotional, productive, or sexual. All of it has been cut off. The Empress, in other words, is no longer doing these things because of pain, rejection, disappointment. Mm. The Empress is saying she was not treated as an Empress. So again, I can't quite tell what position you're in, honey. To receive an opportune blessing, moment of luck in order to repair this or address it, or that you were sending it out, I can't quite tell. There's, there's an element of courageousness here. Perhaps you both share a little bit of Virgo. Can't quite tell. It's taking courage to generate a potential blessing, gift, opportunity, or moment of luck. Or it's taking courage to receive these things. Especially if there's much discord between you two. Unresolved discord, I should say. It is unresolved. I know that somebody cut off a very strong source of power energy, not giving it anymore. Generosity, understanding, unconditional love. It stopped almost abruptly. I say the, the Empress embodies unconditional love so long as she understands she's loved. And once she has that sense of security, there's nothing that she cannot or will not give so long as she knows that it's correct or returned. Yeah, we don't like to think about this, the pain that was caused. And it's such an interesting introduction. Such a simple presentation. Such a simple presentation. See how clever the earth signs are. You guys show me stuff like this. See, it's no big deal. Look at how deep it goes. Goodness gracious. Goodness me, yes. All right, let's get cracking. Show me that Wheel of Fortune, please. Not Wheel of Fortune, October. Apologies. Old habits, you know, old habits die hard. Show me October, please, for Virgo. Show me October, please, for Virgo. Show me October, please. But you seem to think of this as a very function concept. But once you take it out of the function, of labeling it friendship, work element. It went to a very deep place very quickly. So you see the value in it. As an earth sign, you see the value of this. You do. But when it gets to the layers of, of personability, oh my, did those angles get very sharp. Show me October, please. Show me October, please. Judgment, the Six of Swords, Justice. Hmm. Somebody is making a decision because it feels correct to make a re-entry around October. Labor season, possibly, which is uh, late September to late October. It's all kind of running together. But it feels correct to come back. Somebody's making a very powerful decision here. One based on spiritual lesson as well as justification of the very soul. This feels correct in accordance to my energy. It's not drifting away, it's drifting back. In October. To what the situation or scenario is, I don't want to assume it's this, but since it's so very strongly desired under the sun to do something, 
I can only help conclude. Can I get more on this, please? More on this decision? It's a very powerful one. I respect it a great deal. I don't know who's making it, but it feels correct. I'm not saying it's an easy decision, but it looks like a powerful one. It suggests this is something I need to do. Nine of Cups, the Emperor, like I said, somebody's made a very powerful decision. Um, the Emperor, the Nine of Cups, the Page of Wands, I don't know who it is, but it seems that they, or you, somebody here, is responding to the decision. And they say it's because they want to. It makes them happy to do so. It is coming from a uh, commanding place as the Emperor, but this Emperor person also says, I know it's right for me, the Nine of Cups, and that they're open to it. So someone is open to giving and someone is open to receiving. Whoever is stamped with the energy of courage, possibly Leo, not necessarily, it's the idea. Um, they're the ones who feels that they need the extra fortification of energy to do this. But to that person's complete, full respect, um, once the decision is made, it is made. So there's a lot of energy behind this, a lot, but how it actually looks in reality my earth signs make me smile. All this big spiritual energy. A couple pinnacles. <laughs> it's just a couple of pinnacles, Christina. It's, it's, it's whatever. Don't. <laughs> and meanwhile, look at the magnificence of this energy that's behind it. Hmm. I do like this. I do like it. Whomever's made up their mind. It's going to take then, it's twofold, so I couldn't quite tell who's making the offer and who needs the courage to receive it and who needs the courage to deliver it. It's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. I will say this. Spirit is matching for spirit. Energetic connectivity is matching for energetic connectivity. So they're op somebody's open to receiving. The other person made the powerful decision to deliver something. And it might come out in the smallest of ways. I don't know what that Ace of Pentacles is. It's resting on a page of cups, so it dials it back quite a bit. So that's why I'm thinking it's coming out in the form of peace offering, gesture, gift. But it's already strong, and this is what's funny to me, it's already strongly formulated as a plan in somebody's mind. It's acting upon said plan, but I like the energy behind it with the sun. It would make us happy to do this. We may not necessarily know the response, but that's all we can do. That's all we can do. Uh, so, I don't know. But I like that. That's a brave little guy right there. And it comes from a heart place. So whoever's delivering it, they mean it. The sincerity in here, even if it's a small guy, but my mind's made up to put the energy forward. I don't know what I'm going to get back, but it's kind of like going like this. <laughs> We're crossing fingers on this one. <laughs> um, I don't know. This particular Empress, I just know that when the Empress cuts off her Empress energy towards someone, it's typically because, you know, this person feels disrespected. I very much have generous energy towards this or towards you, and because you put pain in my heart, it is no more. So I can no longer show you my particular generosity, love, goodwill, compassion, understanding, or love, uh, because it was not shown to me. So I know that when she says it, she means it. Um, and it comes back typically unlike the emperor. That's their biggest distinguishing feature as self-empowered people, okay? Is that respect the feelings, and there's nothing I can't do. And he's more like respect my effort. And there's nothing I can't do. Right? So when they choose people, they choose them very carefully. Because they understand that they're trying to connect with somebody here who represents the worthiness of that. So I know that you two see a great deal in each other. 
there is a certain level of respect here in terms of um, you both have a commanding energy about you I don't know who is who you know what's funny though I do feel like that emperor and empress are linked up masculine and feminine divided it could be the same person makes sense because the response is, is that I am agreeable to this. To whoever is proposing this magnificent re-entry, but it's coming from a good spiritual place of self-calibration. This is what I need to do. And it comes out in the form of a gift, I think. Something. Let's keep going. Show me November, please. Show me November. Show me November. And then some of you, yes, like I said, have very made the very recent... Um, decision to gravitate towards a new work opportunity, in which case you're very excited about it and someone else isn't. I have to put that out there. I have to put it out there. I have to put it out there. I have to put it out there. And that's for some of you. I don't think that's the main interpretation, but for some of you, yes. If I broke it off into a branch of interpretation, I would say it's about 20%. That for some of you are excited about a new work opportunity and someone who is close to you is not. Hmm. Anyway, FYI. Uh, to answer the earth signs questions, will I ever do career, etc. again? Yes, but they have to be done carefully. Um, they have to be done carefully, you know, and it has to be done in accordance to my time because unfortunately they are the least productive. And I'm like the Empress, if it's not productive, I don't engage in it as much because it doesn't give back to me. So, what I'm going to do the next time I address career readings, because it is important, I'm not saying it's not, but again, when I know my worth, time, energy, and effort, it dictates don't do them as often, because it's like working for free for a week, and honey, I don't work for free. I want to help people, but they got to give me something back to justify the time. So, the next time I address career, the money stuff, it will be an entirely different board. And it's going to do more with folding in concepts of purposes and pathways. Okay, more emphasis on the direction of where we're meant to go in this life as opposed to just say monetary output. Uh, because that way there's still more guidance in it as opposed to you killed it this month, you're going to get a bonus. <laughs> that kind of thing, you understand? I don't particularly like that. Um, I want people to focus more on what it is they're supposed to do. Um, but there you go. So, that was my long way of answering yes, but with modifications. And it will probably be a Sunday shuffle. Okay? All right. November. Let's take a look at November for you. Mm, Nine of Wands, Resistance, Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups. Okay. 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 I don't know what this is. There's some nervousness here. There's some tension. There's a little bit of apprehension. I don't, I don't deny it. But I have... Two nights here, trying to meet and talk. Okay, convert. I think this is the actual application of the decision. There is apprehension here. Somebody's like... I don't know if that's trying to control the nerves. I don't know if it's because we're nervous. Could be. The knights are responsible for delivering our expression outside of us. Okay? So when I see the Nine of Wands in resistance to that, on the positive fire, negative fire, it's kind of like, let's dial it back, or I'm nervous, or oh God, should I be freaked out about this? It's kind of somewhere in between, okay? Between trying to meet someone, I believe, in a sincere space. Excited, but not too excited. This could be an absolute shit show. This could be fantastic. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna settle for an excited sort of weird caution. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's awkward, as the kids say. <laughs> but it's a good awkward. I thank you to whoever this is to you is trying to make progress with you. Um, I do. I got two knights, the knight of cups and the knight of wands. So this is emotional sincerity. Someone's trying to express themselves and be vulnerable, but they're struggling with the delivery of it uh, without being too excited, too, I would almost say... I'm not trying to say turned on. What am I trying to say? It's like we're nervous, but we're trying not to show that we're nervous. So, of course, we look nervous. 
that's typically what happens. That's typically what happens. Uh, but yeah, so it's it seems to be really converging around November. So I'm seeing a grand reentry, beautifully done from the spirit, in October. I'm sure how it actually expresses in the real, real world is communication. <laughs> um, because I see somebody responding to it. Like, okay. Whatever that okay is. They're just saying they're open towards it. And they feel good about it. But kind of in control of themselves. And then th there's more of a convergence of actual energy meeting in November. It looks like. Let's jump on. I want to get a little further into that. Let's see that November energy for you. There you are. Right there on the split with the Ace of Cups. Contemplating. Can I open my heart towards this? Again, I don't know if you're giving or receiving. It's probably somewhere in between those two concepts. Oh. <clears throat> you are the point here. Ah. Oh, how interesting. Just went a little bit underneath here. Oh, isn't that the truth of the air signs, honey? There's what you show me on the surface, and then there's your soft white underbelly. Which is a great series, by the way, on YouTube. Soft White Underbelly. I highly recommend his work. Highly recommend his work. If you want the real human experience, it's there. Okay, the Hermit. You. The Moon. Hierophant. You might have some very interesting angles in you. Pisces and Taurus. The Fool. Wanting to take off towards your sun. Really coming to terms with this on a spiritual level that you would like to open up towards warmth. Interesting. So. Let's try that again. Show me more on this, please. What is it about wearing white? Somebody's wearing white. You reflect on that. Somebody's reflecting on who is... I see a white blouse or a white shirt. I can't tell if it's feminine or masculine. It's somewhere in there. Long white, long white sleeves. Something in that conversation that we think about a great deal. Somebody said, all I can see is very sharp white. Long sleeves. There was a... There's a very poignant conversation. Not conversation. Why is it? We were listening to this person, or they were listening to you. I mean, it's, it's so sharp white. And that something was said, it got stuck in somebody's mind like that. We go back and we look at it or play it over in our mind, or we actually look at it like it's a video over and over again. It's replayed. You know, somebody's replaying a memory that, I don't know, that was same Why is that coming through? Yeah, it's it's redirecting. So here we go again. Um, yeah, here we go again. I mean that in a good way, not in a negative way. I know you're seeing these aces and it's like, Christine, it's new. It's not. It's a renewal. We have to remember the word new is in renewal. Okay. And you're showing me a lot of renewal energy towards this, but it's done so from a positive disposition. And that's what you're showing me. That Six of Swords that drifted back in so beautifully and strongly in October is showing up again in November. In that respect, if I'm here and I'm delivering my Ace of Swords, and I want to with the Ace of Wands. So again, I have two for two, two Knights, two Aces. You're both meeting somewhere in the middle. Um, the energy comes back in a very positive direction. So it's looking like you two managed to convert from negative and nervousness and I don't know about this and apprehension to, okay, we're both kind of finding our middle ground in this. So we're both catching up to each other in that respect of somebody else's Six of Swords has now arrived back on the scene. In other words, they're fully present for this energy to engage with it. It's you and them. Somebody arrived first. The other person's now, it's like, okay, I'm now where you are. Um, we're talking, conversing more easily. We're exchanging energy more easily. Okay. It looks, it looks nice. It looks very nice. If it was bad, I'd tell you. The only thing bad I see, and it's not bad, it's just being human is nervousness. So I don't know quite what this is to you since you so slyly opened up with the Three of Pentacles. 
four pentacles, no big deal. I'm hoping they'll cooperate. Or, like I said, quite don't quite know which way is which, but that's okay. Like I said, it's somewhere in the middle between you two sharing this. Okay. December, please. <clears throat> Hmm. Let's see, December, please. December for Virgo. Show me December for Virgo. There is excitement around this. Courage, but a lot of truth. A lot of truth. Beautiful truth. Solid truth. Okay. I like this. I do. Let's see, December for you. Ace of Cups, Temperance, King of Pentacles. Oh, that's so nice. You just look great. You do. By December, you look great. Your heart's in a good position. You feel healed. You feel like you've been put to rights. So this was really important, huh? It was really important. I just, I'm just gonna say it for what it is, okay? Someone either did right by you because it was the right thing to do, or you did right by someone else because it was the right thing for you to do. But to be perfectly honest with you, Virgo, it's somewhere in between. I don't really care about who puts their ace of swords forward or their ace of pentacles as gifts, this gesture. The energy behind it says it's correct. And when there's a re-entry like that and it's powerful and it's well received, that's always good news. You can't show me this and not tell me that you don't feel really good. All is right and well with you, spiritually speaking, emotionally speaking. And there's your truer state with the King of Pentacles. You feel really restored in the heart. In other words, you feel good about this. You feel good about you. By December, your sense of peace, calmness, all is right and well with the world is very much in place. Your cup runneth over. You feel at peace, you feel restored. Reconciling, by the way, we, I saw that for your underlying too, willingness to, as I said, I saw it both ways. And it does take a full energy and a willingness on both parts for somebody to receive and to somebody to offer. It works both ways. And it always seems like the grass is greener. It's not. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm the one. It's so easy to receive. No, a lot of people reject opportune things, luck, opportunities, because they didn't expect it. They didn't know what to make of it. Are you, are you, are you friend or foe? I don't, I don't know what this is. And not in the absence of not knowing and not just trusting the moment or trusting the innate feeling, I'm going to reject it. And it, it takes much as courage to work up to be someone else's opportunity for change, growth, or healing. You need courage to both. And I'm seeing two people being courageous for somebody to offer the other person to receive. And that's because in some way you two have a mutual respect. And you also, I believe the both of you have this sense of balance right and wrong between you two that needs to be fulfilled okay other people might leave something like this hanging and just leave it alone it's just not working for either of you to just leave it alone so I want to tell you when somebody puts it forward the other person bravely receives it but the end result is what I care about in that end result, because I'm, I, I love motivation. I do. I like understanding motivation. It helps me understand if it's worth your time, energy, and effort to participate in it. Uh, so motivation is wonderful, but I also like outcome. Outcome tells me a lot about someone's sincerity and their ability and their drive and their willingness and their honesty with themselves. You're showing me a hell of an end result. 
your heart is very soothed and it's like your world is back to rights. And I'm sorry, getting back to temperance. Temperance literally equals time, okay? Patience, compassion, but the reconciliation of difficult waters. So the hermit is no guarantee that he'll tackle difficult feelings, okay? More like his healing comes from time and experience. The angel has more to do with the healing of the emotions, the difficult ones. The back and forth of waters in order to understand them, to appreciate them, and to understand where feelings went wrong. Okay. Anything else, please, about December? It feels very good. We're very good. Somebody's very happy that they pulled their Ace of Swords. That truth, my, my design, my plan came together. So yes, while there is a nervous apprehension, I'm still seeing the willingness on two people's parts to renew this energy, to renew the connection, to renew that sense of balance. Where it goes from there, I don't know. That's not the point. That's not the point, Virgo. What are we doing right by ourselves? It's not about the long term, it's just in this snapshot in time. It's very correct for two people. Okay? I'm surprised. Knight of Swords, King of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. Mm. Okay. Okay. I got something else here that's completely unrelated. I don't know what it is. The energy got colder. Um, there's something here that we don't want to look at in terms of action. Someone's bothering you to make a decision. You don't want to make it. It has absolutely nothing to do with the core story I saw today. I don't know what it is. Um, I just know that if you're not ready to take action on it or make a decision, then you won't. Your energy just got sharp and went into a very different direction. It looks like external pressure to make a decision on something that you're not ready to make a decision on by December. It's completely different. You switch modalities from your heart being completely at peace and calm with you, this is beautiful, to something else crossing your radar that completely switched your energy in another dis in another direction. And you're not having it. I feel like somebody's putting pressure on you to make a decision. Take action. I don't know what this is. It's completely outside of this scenario. Um, but you're not having it. You keep, you're, you're like, I'm not ready to make that decision. Um, ooh. I just got really sharp. Any more on this, please, so that I might better advise Virgo. What is this? It's almost like it's rudely interrupting your Zen. After you achieved this beautiful energy kind of repair with somebody of critical importance, somebody pulled you back in another direction and said, Hey, Virgo, make a decision on this. And you're like, No, not right now. And it's not coming from this at all. As far as I can tell, this energy is making no demand on you whatsoever, other than to understand and try to meet you where you are. This is something else. What is this? Yeah, somebody wants something done with you. They want you to make a decision, about, and they're getting unhappy about it. They said, I wanted this done a long time ago, or I wanted this action taken a long time ago, or I wanted this decision made by you a long time ago. And you're like, chill, I'm not trying to do that right now. So I don't know where that's coming from, but in December, it's a little irritating. It's a little irritating. I can kind of see why the energy, that whatever it is, is demanding something from me. It's almost, I hate to use the word nagging, but it's nagging. And um, it's a little, hey, I've been trying to summon this for you for a while now. I need you to make a decision on this or take action. You're like, yeah, and you're going to keep waiting because I'm not ready to do that. So I don't know where it's coming from. It's extremely sharp, air focused. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius doesn't have to be, but I have to throw it out there. That's a lot of sword. Um, and your reaction to them is sword. So that tells me that you're used to whoever that is, who's a little bit demanding and a little irritated that whatever it is that they have been asking of you hasn't come through yet. I don't know if that's a work thing. I don't know if that's a family thing. I don't know, but they're telling me they're, the longer you delay on this, the more upset they're getting. So I don't know what that decision is, but they expect you to take action. And they said they've been asking you for a long time. It's time for you to deal with it. And you're not ready to deal with it. I don't know what that is. It's a little demanding, and but they're also saying, yeah, and I've been demanding. Virgo, so it has, I, I don't know what this is, you know, but I'm checking a further out timeline, so whatever's going to come up, 
Uh, but it's completely different from this energy signature. So just to let you know, we got an unhappy pappy sometime in December. I don't know if it's male or female, it just rhymes. So <laughs> I know they're like, make a decision, Virgo, make a decision. I'm like, I'm not gonna. I was, this is beautiful. This brings out a certain level of peace and calm in you and serenity, having fixed it, having solved it, having balanced it with this person. And then, boom, this energy comes in and completely hijacks whatever else. It's like, okay, well, this is great, and thanks for killing my mojo. Well, that, whatever that is, ooh, it's such a spike of demanding energy. <laughs> and your response to it was equally spiky. Uh, I'm not right now. I said, wait, I'm not ready to make a decision. Stop. And they're like, no. <laughs> I don't know what that pertains to. It is so different compared to this. Um, because this energy, while it might have been very hurt and it might have been very withdrawing, it was either you or them. Um, it represented a lot of generosity and warmth and love. And this, this one's like cold and demanding and get on it. So I don't know who or what that is or what that situation is, but for some reason it's coming to a head in December. <laughs> or thereabouts. I don't quite know. Maybe Sag, but oh my. Okay. Sorry, I wish I could hone in on that. I was trying. I was trying really hard, but it's so different. Official person, occupation, house. Official person, occupation. Official person, occupation, house. Somebody's wanting you to make a decision about a house or property. And the pressure's on. We've had plenty of time to work through this. You have to make the decision as the official person. I, as soon as I put that down, that kind of cold harshness reality kicked in. It was quite demanding. Um, it either feels like pressure from a male or pressure from a female. Someone who's always busy, preoccupied, and distracted in a thousand ways. There's something about the house that it needs more upkeep or we can't upkeep it. What are we gonna do with it? Okay. I got two different things going on for you, and that's fine. I mean, like I said, when you do an overview, you don't really know what you're gonna get. It's one of the reasons why I like it. It makes it harder to make sense of it, but when it makes sense, it does make sense. Um, so this, it has a heavy sense of responsibility. I do believe it's you being perceived as the official per I told you there's a swordness here, there's analytical here, there's pressure here, and it has to do with the home. Um, make a decision about the house somebody's property somewhere what are we going to do with it and uh, that's coming up sharply in december they want that resolved you're saying you're not ready to resolve that and then i have something else all together that is exactly what i was talking about upon the bulk of this let's call it 80 percent the lovers the gift okay and the message the owl this was the preoccupation in terms of energy flow for your warmth as well as your moon, but you share it. And the duality of the lovers would explain that to me right away. It takes courage to open up to receive a gift and it takes courage to deliver the gift. Um, somebody here is showing a gift to their lover at some point in the fall, okay? And it comes in bearing the officiousness of the message of the owl. So the owl has that sharper representation of truth there's the gift and the significant person here and it started out as friends I'd like to reconstruct with them that would feel good can I open myself up to its source of fault so wow 15 17 12 might be important dates for some of you it's more about the energy though this, I am sorry, it's very demanding, but they are saying it's your responsibility. So this is, here's main story number one, and here's side quest. <laughs> you have a side quest. <laughs> I suppose you do have a side quest, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. This, this, yep. Okay. I think we, I think we nailed that one. I do. It was equally divisible. 
and this was already ex- I kept getting the duality without seeing the lovers of the six of cups but I was like I know what's there it's going both ways I feel it I see it more so towards the end when you both showed me knights and you both showed me aces and a, and a sense of caution between you two it's nervous caution it's nervous caution it's to be expected but I will say this I greatly admire whomever this is this is either you or your lover somebody here when they show up in that spiritual energy of I've made up my mind to try to balance this it is done so beautifully um, I respect that a lot because it's marked very much with spiritual sincerity and the person's reception is alright it's a strong one right even if it comes out in a page they respond well to it because you can't fake authenticity like that you either feel authentic like that or they feel authentic like that or you don't there's really no confusing the two and when somebody's showing their authentic self in such a way I want to reconnect with this and I made that decision to do so would you like to balance with me here you know of course you're going to get an authentic positive response so am I necessarily surprised to see the others? no not at all. In fact, I'm surprised I hadn't seen it sooner because I kept seeing the duality. But then there's that situation too, and I'm sorry there's so much pressure there, but it looks like it's something that does need to be addressed. You're just not convinced it has to be addressed right now or at that person's sense of timing or speed, whatever that is to them. It's a very female, cold, figure it out, Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit, it's a wee bit sharp. It's just a wee bit sharp, <laughs> you know. But uh, I know that that kind of person's gonna be like, but it has to get done. <laughs> and I've been asking you for weeks, Virgo, to make a decision, deal with it. <laughs> kind of like that. And your response is equally sharp. <laughs> You're like, damn it! I was feeling so good about this situation. I'm on top of the world. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. I don't know. I'm just happy for you and this and whoever they represent. What happens to it in the long term, I don't know. But uh, I think you two making peace is a hell of a start. For some of you, your person is very passionate or Scorpio, like I said. Uh, here with the Empress, very passionate person, the very generous, very giving. We have the letter J, the crescent moon. The time of the next crescent moon might be important. Small wish, small star. Uh, octopus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, something we're not ready to let go of either. That's that Four of Pentacles energy and the Medallion of the Child. For some of you, it's confirmation that a child is involved or there's children present or um, some sense of dependence. Okay. Where are we? Oh, very good. All right, Virgo, this is a great fall for you. I'm very happy. Um, I don't know what the gift is. I just know that when it's delivered, it's very well meant and... A very strong representation of someone's sincerity. Um, they put a lot of thought. Heavy Scorpio energy. The 19th for some of you might be important. But the sharpness of wit here with the owls. We put a lot of thought into this. Somebody did. Through observation. We understand what the gift should be. Either you or the person who's giving it to you. But it was through careful observation and careful delivery. Yeah. It's that same energy. It was over, whatever this is. But I don't think it has to be. Very good. I like the hope and resilience. But what's overarching all this, honey, is a sense of balance. If we can both feel good out of it, great. But more than that, and more than anything above all, I just wish there to be a cooperative balance of peace between us, if nothing else. Any positive emotions after that are like a bonus. And it's a well-earned bonus. Okay. All right. I hope this helped you put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.